It is Friday, the 6th of August, so next week is Chloe's birthday. Um, what she wouldn't want me to tell you is how old she is. So think of my age of this many, and then um, minus that many years. So it's, yeah, we're going to go out and do some celebration for Chloe. But this weekend, this weekend's a bit different. Today, after school, I have to book it to Nelson uh, and try and beat all the traffic. And <laughs> hopefully it's not raining like it is right now because that'll be a miserable drive. And I'm going to go up, meet Lucy, and we're going to go and do a small competition to, at CrossFit Nelson. So it's, yeah, it'll be quite exciting. It's like full circle. I've been up there a few times. We were up there a couple weeks ago um, for the gymnastic stuff. But, yeah, I'll just be seeing how it goes, easing the body back in. Uh, just, I guess, seeing where we're at at the moment. Um, we've only been back at the gym for about a year, and then only probably like intense training really since probably just around the end of summer so what is that five six months um started to really get into trying to train and get some strength back in and some weight back up so that's a very slow process but it'll be just good to see how it goes obviously it's still dark out no kids here yet um, so we're just going to prep the classroom, get ready. Um, we have a couple of challenges we have to do against the kids today. Um, take on a team in dodgeball. So it will kind of look like this is what I'm hoping. Now you're all in big, big trouble. And then we also have a game called bench ball we play that we have to take on a team that won um, last term. So a couple of teacher versus students to start the day and then good old Friday the rest of the day. All right, little um, catch up of where we are. We're in the Waikari at the moment, slowing down into the 60 zone. And we are on our way to Nelson for the CrossFit competition. Uh, no, Chloe is not with me. No, Timbit's not with me. Um, yes, Chloe has reminded me every single day for uh, almost two weeks that I'm leaving Timbit and I don't get to be with Timbit. So thank you, Chloe. Thank you for the reminder. Uh, good day at school today. School is good. Um, we did some teacher versus student things. So we had some playoffs for both bench ball at the end of last term and uh, dodgeball the other week and so the winners of all those um, things the A, B and C team for bench ball and the dodgeball team uh, got to play off against the teachers and obviously we smashed them uh, just leave no doubt dodgeball was best two to three and, and, and yeah there was a hiccup uh, we kind of lost the first game uh, and then we came storming back and just crushed all their hopes and spirits uh, in the second game and the third game just to make sure that they know teachers are the best. And then the bench ball, oh, psh. Oof, didn't even break a sweat there, hey? Just, ah, uh, nothing. So just, just remember, kids, if you are watching this, uh, teachers rule and trash talking. Hey, can't trash talk now, can ya? We made it. Here's my room. So I'm just gonna go to bed. Real tired. Uh, early morning, so up at like six. And then we gotta be at the place by the time we're leaving at like seven fifteen. We're gonna leave. So yeah, I might get up at like six fifteen or something and um, have some food and and yeah, we are all go for tomorrow. So. It is quite exciting. Hopefully the body holds up a bit. It's already feeling a bit meh. But 
it is how it is. It was a long day, long drive. So hopefully moving around tomorrow will actually help. Yeah, a little excited, a little nervous to see how it all goes. This is my view. It's dark at the moment, but I've never been in um, Adafi, which is pretty cool. So obviously early morning at the moment, we're just getting ready to head over to the gym for our check-in. All right, just had to change my shoes. I was getting um, Achilles, or Soles were sore. That's the word. Soles are sore. Everything's good. First workout went pretty good. We did, um, yeah, second in our heat. So not too bad after that. Not doing some filming for Nelson, so that'll be good as well. So we have a really bad workout to come next. Um, not looking forward to this one. So we're in Adipai and there's good old Nelson right in there in the hotel and the port and everything and then we're around on the other side. Remember, Takako's over in there somewhere. Alright, well, re recap of the day. Um, event 1 had us doing 100 double unders. We did 35 synchro dumbbell, shoulder to overhead, 35 synchro dumbbell deadlifts, 70 um, dumbbell box step overs between the two of us, and the 35 deadlift, 35 shoulder to overhead, 100 double unders. Because um, of Lucy's ankle, I tried to take as much of the double unders. So the first set I did, the 100 unbroken. Then we went into our, uh, yeah, sh sh uh, what was it? Shoulder overhead. That felt all right. Deadlifts felt all right. And then Lucy did some big sets for the step overs to give me a break. And I just went, bleh. Um, and I think we came third, second or third in that one. So that was pretty good. Uh, event two, we did a, um, you can go however you want. Males had to do 40 cal bike, 40 cal, or 40 cal row first, then 40 cal bike. And the girls had 30 and 30. Uh, so Lucy went out first and then I went second. And that hurt. That was well programmed. Um, that that was horrible. Um, sat on the rower, maybe second or third in the heat. Um, rode at a just over 2,500 pace um, until I was about 30 cows in, and then eased back from 30 to like 35, and then eased back again. Uh, I was the second to the bike, so I made up some distance and somehow came off the bike first in my heat and we finished um i think third in that one because of the prior heat so that was yeah that was real well never pushed that hard before in that workout the judge beside me was amazing yelling at me what's going on like how much time's left no hands are up um i had a couple people yelling at me in front of me so it just made me work and when he said 10 left i looked no hands up, closed my eyes, kept going, and then I heard cheering, and I looked down. I was only at, um, I was still six cows away, so I'm like, oh, it wasn't me, and I don't know, just somehow, that was good. And then third workout for today was a two-parter, 60 snatches between the two of us, um, and then into a max clean and jerk, so yeah, Lucy, definitely, we, we um, split up pretty good. The bar felt so heavy, like for 60 kilos, just felt incredibly heavy um finished second in that workout and then third in the clean and jerk total 
pulled the ugliest, ugliest clean and jerk I think I've ever done in my life um, out of my butt. Uh, but it was, I, had, I have not done that since hurting my back. So I was quite impressed. Uh, just having um, a chill out time for a little bit. Lucy's mom's cooking us dinner, so I'll go see if she needs any help, and then have a shower, have some food. I'm uh, gonna watch the All Blacks play Australia tonight, and then have a good sleep at the pool tomorrow, and do it all over again. <laughs> Fun breaking news. Um, I'm still in Nelson. Got to Blenheim. Uh, yeah, roads were closed, so <laughs> had to call to see if I could come back, stay in Nelson, um, which means no school for me tomorrow. So thank you, whoever's covering my shift. Um, have fun, kids, without me. I know you're gonna miss me terribly, and hopefully I can get back tomorrow. So I'm now shattered and exhausted. Uh, luckily, I could come back here. So let's very nice and lovely of Lucy's parents. So I'm gonna go to bed, um, get up in the morning, hopefully everything's open and do it all again and try and get home tomorrow. And then I'll do a little recap video. So couldn't get out yesterday, but this is today in Nelson. It looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. Let's hope I can get home then. Quick little update, I am now officially past where I got to last night trying to get home. Before I had to turn back and drive all the way to Nelson again uh, to stay because the roads back are closed both through the Lewis and through Kaikoura. So at this stage it says everything's a go and open. Um, the same signs that said it yesterday, say it again today. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'll probably stop in Kaikoura for a coffee and to put some petrol in. At this stage, I've just um, driven right from Nelson on the way through. I didn't stop in Blenheim at all. Um, I just want to be on the road and get as far as possible. Haven't eaten anything uh, besides like a biscuit or two and then um, a rice cake. So I'm gonna need some coffee to make sure I get all the way home. But if I can get home, you know, two, three o'clock, I'll be super stoked. The nice part about this drive, it's A, not pouring with rain like three weeks ago. Uh, B, it's in the daytime, which is quite nice to see uh, Marlborough again, which is wine country, and just some of the beautiful views and stuff that happens. So hopefully I'll get a little bit more uh, before I get closer to Kaikoura. And yeah, I guess I'll just enjoy the drive, listen to some CDs along the way because of no reception. And yeah, that is about all I can really do alone on this drive.
update time. Kaikora from Kaikora. And we just put some petrol in. No coffee, because that BP didn't really have coffee, um, like the normal ones in Christchurch and stuff. Horrible wind and rain. Oh man, that wind is so bad. So bad. And the waves are huge off the um, coast here, which is cool to see. I've never seen them that big since I've been here. Um, then again, I don't travel up this side much. Making all right time. It's 11 a.m. now. So uh, this stage, all the roads look all right, but it was the southern part of um, Kaikoura that was, you know, the bad part. So just making it through town and then we'll, um, yeah, hopefully see how the other side goes and make it out all right. I hope you guys have enjoyed some of the videos. I tried to get as much as I can on the drive. Uh, just looking forward to getting home to see Chloe and Timbit uh, and definitely London and Sydney. We got to move their cages. Ugh. It's been a couple weeks now, so just, I just want to be home now. Hello, made it back. Look at he missed. Hello, I missed you too. Oh, my little man. He's been so cuddly since I've been home. Uh, quick recap, as I promised. Horribly, horrible drive. Uh, it was bleh the whole way. Hailing and snowing. Some cool images though, as you saw. It just got worse and worse the closer we got. Um, competition went really, really well. Um, exceeded expectations. Lucy and I actually got. What do you want, Tim? What do you want? Hello. So, you're so needy. All right. Give me two minutes. Give me two minutes. Okay. All right. He's not leaving, so we'll try and finish this. Um, Lucy and I. Tim, piss off. We got a second. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, didn't think we'd get that at all, but uh, yeah, overall, we're, we're super, super happy. So look forward to doing it all again in five weeks time. I'm going to cuddle my dog because obviously he needs some attention and I'm signing off for tonight.